just when you thought things couldn't get any worse for your Fire Stick, Fire TV, Amazon are now promising to send even more adverts to your device. Amazon Prime is something that many people do subscribe to so they can have the next day or same day deliveries and that comes bundled with Amazon Prime Video. Now the price of that is $14.99 if you pay monthly or $139 if you pay for the year now and what Amazon have promised by the end of January 2024 they're going to start serving adverts through Amazon Prime Video so even though you're paying money for a premium subscription they're now going to start adding adverts to that unless you want to pay an extra $2.99 to stop those adverts so it really does seem crazy and very greedy that they're now going to start asking people for more money even though people are already paying a premium subscription for this service now this was reported on AFTV news as well as the verge yesterday and as you can see here that amazon prime video will start showing adverts on january the 29th movies and tv shows on this service are now going to start getting broken up because they're going to inject adverts in that content and many people when streaming first took off the, the reason why they loved streaming was what a great break from traditional cable tv because traditional cable tv was plagued with many many adverts whereas streaming you pay a small monthly fee it was small back then and with that you can now enjoy uninterrupted streaming movies tv shows all of that content but now slowly, slowly, as things have progressed, you can see all of these services are now injecting adverts into their streams unless you now pay an extra premium on top of your already monthly price that you're paying. Now, some of the comments on this are really interesting. If we scroll down, so Amazon early this year promised that they're going to start incorporating adverts into the movies and TV shows from the Prime Video service. And now they've actually confirmed the go live date of that is January 29th. So... That's when the adverts are coming and it says that they aim to have meaningfully fewer adverts than linear tv and other streaming providers but it's just one of the things that they say it once but then later on they'll just change their mind and just start showing even more adverts it says customers have the option of paying an extra 2.99 a month to keep avoiding advertisements i mean you can understand when a service is completely free like tubi tv or pluto tv they have to earn some revenue so they show you some adverts and that way you can say fair enough i get access to free content and i have to watch a 30 second advert before i can do that that's understandable but here in this example i'm already paying a premium i'm already paying like 14.99 a month or if you're paying the yearly fee to pay that much money and then be told that we're going to change things up we're going to start serving you adverts but if you don't want that start giving us 2.99 or extra money per month that i would say is taking advantage of their customers very interesting to know guys how many of you actually do subscribe to the amazon prime service for that next day or same day delivery or how many of you just subscribe to amazon prime video on its own or how many of you just do not subscribe to anything regarding amazon do leave me a comment below and let me know now here's some of the interesting comments so this guy is saying now the highest rated comment says that pirating star dimmed because of the accessibility of streaming now i do think this is true for many people that if you do provide a service that is not extortionate that's not too expensive then people just pay that monthly fee just for that convenience that they get guaranteed service they get good quality content they get support they'll happily pay you know four five six seven dollars a month for that quality of service but here, for example, if you're going to increase the price, you're going to start serving adverts, it'll definitely, I think, encourage more people to look for different alternatives. Here, for example, Chris is saying we have few adverts than linear TV. It means that they'll gradually add in more adverts than linear TV. So it's just one of those things. They'll say it once, they'll say it now, but very quickly in the future, you can see them adding in more adverts. Here we go, look, remember when they said pay a monthly fee to get ad-free content? I definitely remember that. And as I mentioned before, this was one of the, the big benefits of subscribing to a service. You pay a monthly fee and you can now enjoy ad-free streaming content. But we can see, guys, over time, they've gone back on their promise and they're just getting greedy now and they want to line their pocket. And he also says that I prided myself on paying for multiple streaming services instead of pirating. But now with everybody raising their price or what feels like annually and pushing adverts, it really is just becoming absurd. And 
trying to stay legit, trying to stay official, you, you know, having to subscribe to four or five, you know, six different services. Then on top of that, they start showing you adverts. You can see it is very, very frustrating and more or less an insult to anybody that wants to stay on the official side. It really is just a, a slap in the face. And he says it feels like an abusive relationship. I'm seriously considering cancelling. So that's just my thoughts on the video, guys. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Are you surprised by this? Are you somebody that does take advantage of the Amazon Prime delivery service? But with this new hike in prices, are you going to keep it? Or are you going to look elsewhere? Do leave me a comment below. Let me know. And if I don't make another video by the year end, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks for all of your support over 2023. It's been an interesting year. I've got some big things planned for 2024. And let me just take this opportunity to wish all of you a safe, healthy and prosperous 2024. Really appreciate your support. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.